Alright, hi you guys. So we're back down here for another training session. Now I think I've got the elevation problem sorted out um, in terms of where I'm aiming. Well, I think we shall see. Um, right, let's have a look. Um, Right, what I've done is I've got some semi fluorescent dots and some patches of silver paint. Oh, one of the dots has come off, um, which I'm aligning horizontally with the target. Right, now I'm going to go and have a look and see where they've gone. Hopefully, we'll be somewhere near. It's very bright today. My eyes are not working so well. Right, where are we? Ah, that's good, yeah. We're actually on a level with the centre of the target. Um, we're in between the two target faces. Now, I was as I thought, aiming at the right hand edge of the right hand target. This is the problem I've got at the moment, is aligning with the centre, of, with the target. I'm okay with elevation now. So we'll do with that again. Now I've just got to figure out some way of gauging when I'm in line with, because with, I, can't, I can't see with the right eye. So I can't look down the arrow, but let's see. Well, I'm hitting the target. Just got to remember to make sure it goes onto the arrow knock, or the arrow rest in the knock. Right. Well, I'm still hitting the, tar the target, boss. So I'm still at the right height. And it's the alignment that's they're going to be the problem, I think. I think I've got the height sorted. Right, I'll show you what I've done, actually. I don't know whether you'll be able to see. And what I've done there, I don't know whether you can see them or not, or if I'm even lined up with the camera. I've got some plastic, well, rubber dots. And they're actually quite bright, especially when the light hits them. Um, I've got four on there at the moment. I need another one down here to line up with the silver mark here. Where is it? There. Which is which at this range of five metres is level with the centre horizontally with the targets. So hopefully I've got the elevation in relation to in relation to range sorted out. Now I'm just gonna go and have a look, see what we're like on the target. And I'll retrieve my arrows at the same time. I hate not being able to see where I'm going. Right, let's have a look. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That. I don't know whether you can see or not, but we're, we're all. These are the first two I fired. Now all the rest, I've got a nine, a nine, a nine. I've got three nines, an eight, and a seven. That's a seven as well. I'm really chuffed with that. And they're all roughly horizontally in the centre of the target. That's that. I'm glad about that. That's chuffed. Right. So there we go. So that's a successful little practice session. This target's frozen solid. Oh, 
is man's five overnight I believe and it's only just above freezing now so this target is absolutely rock solid <coughs> but this is what you get for living in the UK in the winter yeah that's frozen yeah right anyway guys so I'm quite chuffed with that um, I've got that problem sorted the eleva elevation um, now I just have to equate that to range. I've got it set on the bow so the bottom dot is five, five metres roughly and then we'll go 5, 10, 15, 20. Um, because I've just got some netting which I am going to be putting up so that we can actually use the 20 metre range. Um, I might actually do a video and show you the range we've actually got. We haven't gone any further than 10 metres yet, purely and simply for safety. Uh, but we'll be, we've got the netting now, so we can get that put up. I don't want to put it up in the freezing cold winter. Anyway, so that's that practice session. A quick update. Um, I shall continue shooting, but you can go and have a cup of tea. I think I will actually, because it's freezing cold. And we shall talk again soon. Cheers, guys.